Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Before I begin, I'm not giving you guys any medical advice, I'm not making any medical claims, and with that being said, am I an alien? Do I have alien blood? Well, to save you all the suspense, no, I'm not an alien, and I certainly don't think I have alien blood. However, in my own personal belief system, I really believe that this human body is capable of so much more that the world really doesn't know or understand at this time. And I really believe that there's so much possibilities. And I've been trying to apply a lot of things that I've learned both from science and other ways that I, that I will mention in this video. And I've been applying them to myself to not only try to improve my life, but also see what the possibilities are. Well, one of the interesting things that's come up lately, which I did not expect at all, is I always get blood work. And I do this for many different reasons, but mostly to test for deficiencies. Well, there's been certain anomalies that have been being observed in my blood. I think it's been going on for, I don't know, eight months, a year. I really don't remember because it's been observed for a little while now. And I recently had the blood work again because at this point, one of the doctors that I'm seeing is kind of thinking there's something strange going on and he doesn't know what, what quite to think of it. I don't know what to think of it either. But ultimately, there's something that appears to be going on with my red blood cells. A little bit of an anomaly. One of the things that, that was clarified to me by this physician was that you know, the way that we look at numbers and where they should be is based on overall all the people. So you take all the people and you kind of figure out these ranges and these averages, and that's what you do. Now, apparently what's happening at this point is that I'm just off the charts. I'm not normal right now. Something is strange. And he did more testing because he was trying to see if he could get to the bottom of it. Even going as far right now as he wants to maybe even do a study on me, or write some type of paper or something because something very odd is going on. He did check for deficiencies because he was concerned, of course, as many physicians tend to be with the way that I eat. And he was testing for specific things only to find that all those levels were quite healthy and everything was quite good. There was literally nothing. I thought I might have to adjust something a little bit, but to my surprise, definitely not. My levels are really, really good. And one of the anomalies, I have some notes here, because it almost seems to have to correlate with not only the way the human body is working, but the age, literally the very age of some of my cells. And right now I'll just specifically talk about red blood cells. And ultimately what's happening is as the cells age, different things happen to the cells and also even at the rate of which they die and you make more. Now, one of the things is they begin to lose water, but mine appear to be quite hydrated, let's put it that way, especially for my for my age. I don't even want to say that, but um, so really good uh, hydration, um, which I don't know, that goes without saying in a lot of ways because I'm always trying to stay very hydrated. But one of the other interesting anomalies is that oxidative stress affects, for example, red blood cells. And one of the things that I'm wondering, obviously, and he's wondering the same thing is, is hydrogen affecting your blood in a very interesting way that's literally taken years for me to get to this point. And I don't think it's just the hydrogen personally. I do think that's part of it, but I think my diet, I'm trying to do things that are ultimately really good for my blood. Now, so they really are looking quite good. He did, there was this test where they actually were looking to see almost if there was any abnormalities or deformities or something. Um, what ended up showing up was that my cells looked like extremely healthy. I hate to use the word perfect, but like perfect. And um, the other interesting thing is how even the very pH can change as we age. Obviously, I'm not having such an issue. And how that affects the generation of cytokines and also something called well bioreactive substances um, in preserved blood. But the surface charge, um, the increased density, different things that are happening to your blood as you age. But like I said, mine is doing something that technically doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna keep you guys posted if you want. In fact, one of the things that was asked of me is if I'd be willing to stop using hydrogen for an extended period of time, and I mean extended period of time, like months and months and months, and redo more blood work and see if anything changes to see if hydrogen's playing a role. Now. Go ahead and comment below if you guys have stuck around this long and let me know your opinions. Let me know if you think I should or if I should just keep doing what it is that I'm doing. Um, I personally think, well, I won't, I won't give you my opinion just yet. I'll, I'll wait for you guys to, uh, to go ahead and comment below. I mean, I am feeling good right now, so sometimes I don't really wanna change something if I'm feeling good. But at the same time, this is, you know, for science. 
and this is for a greater understanding and maybe this could be potentially good to learn more, right? So this could be very interesting. I'm, I'm finding it incredibly interesting because one of the things also that it, and from what I'm kind of looking at is that it's almost as if my body is being really efficient, being extra efficient and I believe that if the body can be extra uh, efficient it can help with other aspects of the body where energy can go do other things because you're you're running efficiently and so again uh, just found that interesting so don't forget to share subscribe hit the notification bell all that good stuff guys don't forget to support the channel by giving the thumbs up thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time on the next one